So you would have seen in the past day or two the video on the new Victron Energy Servo the GX. But during that video I mentioned about the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. How I can able to connect Bluetooth by the phone, Wi-Fi while I'm at home. But what if I'm travelling on the road? The Victron Global Link 520 has got the 4G built into it. So I was able to get that data from that uploaded to the Victron management portal. So this Victron Energy Servo the GX doesn't come with that. I mentioned something about this and what we have here is a Victron GX Lite 4G SA. And what this is, it gives me access as long as I'm within a 4G Telstra network, this will give me access to that device and that will then upload all the data to the network so I can remotely connect to the 12 volt system in my vehicle. So that's the antenna that's included in it. Now I've got an exter external antenna, so I'll see how we go with this first. We'll set this up. I've got a SIM card in there, so it's a Telstra prepaid SIM card. So I went and picked that up and as I mentioned, that's the connection for the antenna. So we've got another connection here for the GPS antenna, which I've also purchased as an accessory. So I'm going to be connecting that onto this as well. So right now, what we'll do, it's a simple matter, unscrewing that, and we'll screw in this antenna. So we'll see how this goes. So very simple. We also got some power leads. So now I've got the antenna connected. We'll see how it works with this. If it doesn't work too well or struggles with the signal while it's inside the vehicle, I've got my external antenna with the magnetic base here that I can put on the outside of the vehicle. This is a very simple device to connect up. I believe we've got a power source here, so we need to connect up to the 12 volts power. This USB cord, this just simply plugs into one of those data USB ports that I showed you on the last video that I filmed in regards to the Servo GX. So I'm going to go connect these up now. So basically, it's just so simple to connect these. All I'm going to do is just plug this in to the Servo GX USB cable, connect the power, and then hopefully it'll connect to the 4G network. So let's do that now, and we'll come back and show you the outcome. Good morning. So we're now fast forward about two or three days since I've showed, filmed that video on the Victron 4G LTE dongle. So I've been vigorously testing it out the last two or three days, including driving around, getting it away from my network here at home and seeing how it works. So what do I think of it? I think it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It works a treat. Honestly, it really does. Now you might know, and I mentioned, particularly if you watched my vlog that I posted last night at the time I'm filming this, on the 1st of July, I filmed the vlog. And I mentioned a couple of things there. And one of the things I mentioned is regards to that Victron Global Link 520 that I first gained access to and tried. It needs a very strong signal for it to work. So it keeps uploading to the Victron management portal. And it's set to upload every 15 minutes. So you can't change that. There's no adjustment on it. Whereas with the Servo GX you can. You can set from one minute up to I think it's 15 minutes might even be longer I'm not too sure so I set mine down to for one minute that way I can get very accurate data so when it comes to reviews such as things like my fridge here did you see I've got a, a two-year review coming up on this soon and I'll have some really good accurate figures there on the power consumption so you guys if you don't believe me and how efficient these are going to be down on paper. I'll have it on paper form that you'll be able to see exactly how well these two fridges work. So keep an eye out for that. I did a one year review video on it, two years coming up soon. I'm also going to talk about the fact that I don't have the fridge cover on. Victron 
4G LTE dongle. So I know there's a few people that's been messaging me about that, exactly what it is. So I didn't show very much of a close up of it, so I'm gonna grab the camera shortly and show it inside the vehicle. Now it's still a bit of a mess in there, because as you're aware, I've got a lithium battery on the way to me now. It's actually in the post, it left where I purchased it yesterday. So hopefully it'll be here very soon. That's gonna be a separate video. So you know I've got that external antenna. So I showed you that in the video just before that you just watched the first part of this. I've got that 7G external antenna that I picked up at JCAR for $50 thereabouts. I found I haven't had to use it. In my yard where I am now, I only get one bar of Telstra signal. So we're, we're in a bit of a dead spot here. So I found that Global Link really, really struggled. It struggled big time because it needs a very strong signal for it to work. If you want that data to be uploaded to the portal or you want data every 15 minutes, it needs a very, very strong signal for it to upload because I was getting issues here where it was missing for two hours. It'll work for a little while and then for two hours there's just nothing and that's not good enough. There's no way I can use that data to record accurate information when I want to do reviews on a fridge and show you exactly how much juice this thing consumes out of your battery. So it wasn't working for me. It wasn't doing what was advertised, what they said it would do. Hence why I'm going to send that back. So as you know, I've already got the Servo GX. It's in the car and it's been working fine. So wait till you see my next video guys, I'm going to have a video just on the Victron management portal and I'm going to show you some of the information that I've been able to obtain, gained from my 12 volt system through this portal over the last three days. Quite a lot of info, should be up within probably, give me maybe Saturday, Sunday night, I should have that released. Let's get back to the Victron 4G LTE dongle. Now you know how I mentioned that the Victron Global Link 520 struggled in my yard here. So that's when I went up to JCAR and purchased that 7dB external antenna. And I mounted it and it helped, but it was still missing data. Surprisingly, still wasn't strong enough. So I figured, oh wow, well, I've got this 4GE light because as you know, the Serbo GX doesn't come with the 4G with the network cellular built into it. But they have that option with this 4G dongle, which you would have seen just before, and I'm gonna show you a close up of it very shortly. So I connected out the yard here and checked it for the first couple days, and it never missed a beat. And in fact, something I noticed, and I've never ever seen this before, I've never seen a phone, a Telstra phone, gain any more than one or two bars at the most where I live. This thing here is getting between four bars, three to four bars out of four bars signal. So I don't know what they've done to this device. It's picking up a better signal than my expensive iPhone 12 Pro Max. Or inside here, I'm on a phone call, often it just cuts out. So I've been lucky to get one bar. Well, the interesting fact is that device is sitting with the antenna that's included with it, that short little stubby antenna, is sitting on top of my back seat and it's got three out of four bars. So I'm still able to access all that data through here, parked in the shed, because it's got three out of four bars. So I don't know how they do it. So if you look at it, and you go online, look at the price, you might think, yeah, that's pretty expensive, but I think it's worth it. I'm glad I took the risk on that. Because it's something I really wanted to, is have that ability to connect to it remotely also when I'm out camping and be able to come home, download the graph and see exactly what my 12 volt system has been doing, how my solar panels are performing, etc. Now it's also, I mentioned that it's got this GPS dongle, so I haven't showed you that yet. So it's just a simple little black device, it's got magnetic, so you just put it on top of your roof of your vehicle and just set it there, leave it and forget. So basically with that, is that then it gives you an extra graph that's uploaded to your Victron management portal, which is free to join by the way, and it's accessible via your PC, 
your computer at home and also by your mobile phone anywhere in the world i could be on the other side of the world as long as this is in within a network coverage area i can access this not only can i access this with a few additional switches, devices, I can modify the perimeters and setups of my system. That's a big advantage. Whereas the global link, you cannot do that. Basically, all you can do is just off gain access to the information. And if you're lucky, you might have information transferred up to the portal every 15 minutes. So this one here has not missed a beat. So I've been driving around town. The GPS is awesome. So you get a map on your GPS that shows you the location where you are while you're traveling. So you could send this data, you could send the link out to this portal out to, to your family and they'll be able to follow you as you're traveling, as you're driving along. It actually, and it shows you the speed as well. So no speeding. <laughs> and, and luckily I don't do any of that. Anyway, I'm always drive safe, guys. How brilliant is that? Now, say you're out camping. You can set up a geofence boundary around your campsite. If someone happens to take your vehicle, pinch your vehicle while you're out walking, as long as you're in mobile phone coverage on your phone, mobile phone, you will get alerted that, hey, something's going on, your vehicle has moved out of your zone. You could even set it up as through alarm, that if it goes out of that boundary, yeah, it'll set off an alarm. So we're inside the garage now. The first item I want to show you, it's a simple device. And as you can see, I've just got it mounted under my rooftop tent here and it seems to be working under there. So it's not excessively expensive. It just connects to the Victron 4G dongle via a MSA connector. And you see underneath there, so it's magnetic. So if you have a look here, and it just sits there like so. And I've been driving, like doing highway runs, for example, and it hasn't flown off, so it's quite strong magnetic. And here's the Victron 4G LTE dongle with the little short stubby aerial. You can see it there, it's flashing blue very fast. I've still got the protective screen over the top of this. Let me rip that off. So you can see it's flashing blue there real quick. That's the indicator it's got a good connection to the network. And I'm inside the garage here. So if I grab my mobile phone, I can guarantee it's only got one bar on it. As I mentioned, I've been testing it, driving around in the round Bundy, and not once has it dropped out of the signal. So I'm gonna run further tests on it to see how it works, particularly compared with my mobile phone, where the signal is fairly weak, such as driving along the Goodwood Road here towards Childers. There's an area there that not far away that it always seems to be very weak and at times drops out. So it'll be very interesting to see how this works. And in particular, when I'm out Concurna, the signal's not very strong. And as I mentioned, one bar on my phone, this thing gets three out of four bars here. There's the Servo GX. Works a treat, guys. This Bluetooth Victron GPS dongle it's nothing you need to do. All it does, it just plugs into the Victron LGE device there on that GPS section of the plug that I showed you on the start of this video. So that's all you have to do. And it just automatically picks up the signals, the satellites. And you can go into the settings in the control panel, which I will show you when I do the video on the Victron management portal. You can go into the settings and it'll show you how many satellites it's picked up and it'll show you as well if you're driving along and show you what speed that you're doing. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know there's been a few of you out there that are keen to see this Victron 4G LTE dongle. So as normal, if there's any questions, anything you want to know more about it, just post a question below and I'll do my best to answer. You can always go to the Victron Energy's website and look up the data on it. Although there's not a lot of info out there on it, to be honest, including the GPS dongle. In fact, I didn't know if it was waterproof at all. And yesterday I was down at the beach 
and I went on a scooter ride and when I finished the ride a big rainstorm came through and it just poured down and I had this way out the front of the vehicle it wasn't even under the rooftop tent it was right out the front and it got soaking wet and it still worked it appears it might be waterproof but I need to double check on that and just make sure that it is waterproof but you wouldn't think they would release a device like this that attaches to onto your roof or motorboat or whatever caravan or whatever you want to install it on and not be waterproof I've left this inside the vehicle with the door shut and it won't pick up connection but on top there it seems to pick it up although it's a bit weakest signal though so guys thanks for watching please put a like please subscribe if you haven't subscribed it'll help my channel a lot the more subscribers I get the more likes I get the more videos of this type I'm going to put out there thanks for watching be kind to everyone look after yourself get out there go camping till next time cheers Ha <laughs> ha